Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, I just had a conversation with your doctor and they just received the results of your test and it turns out that you're premium. So today I kind of don't know what we're doing. I posted on Twitter looking for video ideas, which I'm always looking for. So please hit me up on social media or at the email Jarvis is not stealing your content at gmail.com. Uh, no promises. So someone sent me this tweet. There's a man on TikTok who's harassing random people who are just cooking food. It's pretty insane what he says, and I think it should be talked about. That's where I come in. I mean, I want to talk about it. I want to see what this man is saying about food. I've been watching a lot of like Gordon Ramsay content lately. Gordon's kind of mean about food. In what way is this man going to be mean? I don't know, let's find out. For starters, we do have a little bit of a fuckboy profile picture, right? He's showing off the arm muscles, he's doing a little bit of a pose, smoldering, looking like a supervillain. Also, his name is Andrew V. Uh, he's got 69 followers, nice. nice. And his bio is, the truth hurts, and then no, no mouth, and then what is this, a block of marble? What emoji is this? So that kind of sets the stage for what we're about to witness. I appreciate beauty, but chocolate has specifically been designed to be one of the most addictive foods. It has a perfect ratio of cocoa, which actually helps your blood. Okay, wasn't expecting him to be Australian. That's great for me because I love to do my Australian accent. The thing about chocolate is that it's addictive, apparently. Uh, apparently it's been perfectly designed in a lab. Coco, it helps your blood. <laughs> okay, I lost it there, but. Then they put the sugar in it, which keeps you addicted. What? Wait, <laughs> Wait what? Also, are they building a chocolate suit of armor? What is going on over here? Uh, he's talking over this, like we're not witnessing incredible craftsmanship. And they put the sugar in it, which keeps you addicted. <laughs> Addicted. And then they put enough sodium in it. And then they put enough sodium in it. Which also gives... Which also... Now I'm just working on my Australian accent, sorry. And what they do is they make many versions of it and try it on different people in the most addictive version. They then sell. They fucking marketed it to you to feed you crap. Wait, <laughs> like literally? They're creating iRobot. <laughs> this guy is just going off about big chocolate. It's not a global conspiracy, <laughs> but I mean, kind of capitalism is if you think about it that way. It's like, can you believe that they're making things better so that they sell to more people and make more money? It's like, yeah, that's actually everything. Even this video, even your TikTok is engaging in that. Cause I'm telling you what it's like. I'm telling you that that big food has been specifically designed to break your brain. They put sugar in it, so it's bad. But cocoa is good for your blood. So it was good for you, and then it's not. This on the other hand is beautiful, other than the fact that it's chocolate and you should stay the fuck away from it. Reduce your chocolate intake. Do yourself a favor. Like literally that robot could like have its eyes light up and start like murdering the chef who's making it. He's just like, do yourself a favor and do not eat chocolate. Reduce your chocolate intake so the, the chocolate uprising does not murder us all. This comment is funny. Did this all start because someone didn't invite you to a dinner party and, and have been in revenge mode since? I mean, I'm going hard on this guy like from the jump. I, I'm not going to apologize for it. Put on a shirt. You know what you're doing. Okay, so it looks like he doesn't like all the foods that I like, which are the unhealthy ones. So he's just going to be shaming me for my chocolate intake. I don't have any chocolate in sight because I have to keep it out of my house or else I'll eat all of it. Might hear the term oh, ganache, yes. Uh, why did he say it ganache? How can we make chocolate worse for you? Like this, chocolate. Now we're gonna have some leery. Fantastic, heat it up. Mm. Oh, he needs, to, does he do that for every video? <laughs> There's no place for that, that, whatever the fuck that is. Nice, everything in moderation, kids. Even if that looks like it's unhealthy, as long as you have it moderately, it's actually really good for you. Yep, yeah, your body actually processes it differently. So is he being facetious right now or is he telling the truth? Because I can't tell. Are you a fan of moderation or aren't you? Because I'm confused. Part of me thinks that he's coming from the place of saying like, no, cut out all chocolate because of how he spoke about moderation. Also, he's doing a pog face right now. So that's cool. Yeah, he, it seems like he's very, you know, facetious with 
how he talks about uh, these foods. More butter, more butter, because the creamy goodness. Oh, cover a croissant with it. Croissant is half butter. It's carbohydrates and butter. That's why you like butter. Croissants are good because they're carbohydrates in butter. It's butter. You're adding butter to butter. And it's carbohydrates and chocolate, where they add sugar and butter. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry to anyone Australian who's watching this video. It's got more calories in it. So you want them more. We've added the sugar, we've added the ganache. Oh, we're gonna- He's really owning ganache. He's so healthy that he's never heard the word ganache in his life. No, everything in moderation is fine. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. It, I mean, I feel like everything in moderation is fine. I mean, live a little, mister. Okay, I get it. He doesn't like chocolate. So I'm going to try to find one of these where he's like watching someone make healthy food because that's what he does. He just like reacts to people making food, healthy or unhealthy. And then he tells us why it's bad. There's value in that, but I don't want to be condescended to because when I'm eating chocolate, I know it's not healthy. I don't need to be told. <laughs> I eat it because we're all going to die one day and I am going to have a lot of chocolate before that happens. And I'm gonna have a lot of butter. There's multitudes of different snacks. In terms of snacks, this one rates relatively highly. 7.6 out of 11.2. Cucumber. 7.6 out of 11.2. <laughs> I mean, he knows he's a little quirky. He's a little quirky guy. Cream cheese, not great. Whatever that was, avocado, not bad. Sesame seeds, happy birthday. Happy birthday? From what I know, of Australian people, they have very cool turns of phrases, like Bob, Bob's your uncle. I, that, is that Australian or English? Anyway, the happy birthday kind of feels like one of those. So I'll, I'll let it slide. 7.6 out of 11.2. That's still pretty unhealthy. So he's like, just eat the cucumber and the avocado next time, which isn't, isn't a fun snack anymore. I feel like the cream cheese is what makes it palatable. Otherwise you're just eating just raw vegetables and there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes we like to have a little bit of i don't know something going on with a snack a cucumber is like what it's like 90 percent water there's like i don't know man shit don't let andrew see what i eat <laughs> i want to eat healthier this is not inspiring me let me tell you that it's not what he says it's how he says it in his like little condescending oh yeah moderation moderation's fine because if you don't if you you know everything in moderation and then it's healthy and then it doesn't and then it's not so bad. It's like, okay, man, it's a Hershey kiss. Like, let me live my life. Nobody's eating the fucking cake that's a camera. I feel like it's just to show off the like craftsmanship. <laughs> He's really like on his like porch talking about how kids these days are just every object is a cake. <laughs> that's what they do now. You can't even sit in a chair without cutting into it and finding out it's a cake. <laughs> He's like, when will it end? All I want to do is eat my cucumbers and they keep <laughs> turning them into cakes. All right, keto pizza. Like, uh, you know, keto diet, if it works for you, it works. But it's a, you know, you don't need any carbohydrates. I feel like he might be into that, but he's probably not gonna be into like all the dairy and stuff, maybe. Keto pizza. Keto is an amazing diet. Keto, a keto, a keto pizza. Keto is an amazing diet. Okay, so he's into keto. He is, he's a fan of keto, okay. So the world has um like fruits, um, plants, vegetables, what we're going to do is we're going to cut all of them out and instead what we're going to do is we're going to milk the cows, put the cancer meat on it. Okay, so he's not a fan of keto. <laughs> Wait, is everything this man says sarcastic? I like, I can't tell. Even when he was talking about the health, the healthy cucumber snack, I was like, I can't tell if you're lying or not. Put the cancer meat on it, put the lard in it, and just eat that purely because it's really healthy for the system. Keto, fuck yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so he hates keto. Got it. So it seems like he's kind of one note when it comes to criticizing food. Unhealthy food, at least. He's like, oh, this has sugar, which is going to cause depression or whatever, according to him. Or, you know, this has carbohydrates in it, which converts to sugar in the body. And so it's also bad. And then he's like, oh, yeah, vegetables. Cool. But I'm like, okay, but so far... All 
I've seen him really talk positively about is vegetables, which is something that we have all known since we were children, that vegetables are the hell is healthy. So like, what is the other stuff? He doesn't just eat cucumbers all day. Like what else does he eat? If his goal is to teach us something, I don't think he's doing a very good job because instead of teaching us like what is healthy, he's really just like pointing at things that are already unhealthy and then saying that they're unhealthy, which in a way could be a criticism of me in this channel where it's like I, I'm pointing at things that are obviously bad and talking about why they're bad. But I do think that, you know, the commentary and comedy adds value. And he's trying to do comedy, I think. I can't tell, so <laughs> maybe that's not the best sign. But I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Lettuce? <laughs> give this guy a head of lettuce. Yes. Give me the lettuce. Give me that juicy iceberg head of lettuce. It's so delicious. It's from nature. There's no carbohydrates. It's mostly water. It has little nutritional value actually see you didn't know what you didn't know if i was a fan of lettuce or not that's the game he's playing yes lettuce is better than bread no this is maybe the most concise example of this guy's belief system lettuce is better than bread do you agree let me know in the comments down below because i don't <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth in my eyes lettuce is better than bread oh my god i mean lettuce is healthier than bread i've never met a person in my life who's like give me the lettuce oh it just ooh, it's so good our brains are conditioned to enjoy bread so i don't know what this man is on about don't make burgers for the sake of making burgers without the bread. Okay, so he's anti-lettuce wraps is what we're learning. I mean, if you have to, start there. You know what? He's meeting us halfway. If you have to, start there. If you're not ready to eat a whole diet of lettuce and cucumbers, then maybe work your way up to it. Maybe replace your bun with lettuce. I'm liking this new direction that we're seeing. Someone's asking to see his licenses. Yeah, because this guy is giving a lot of tips. You know, TikTok is full of fake experts. And I'm not saying that anything he's saying is wrong. I think we all know that like chocolate is not good for you. But but whenever you're giving this much stuff, I'm like, is your credibility that you're you're ripped? There's a lot of ripped people who don't eat healthy. Is that why his shirt's off? Because it gives him credibility? Sometimes I eat healthy. Sometimes I'm on a keto diet. And this seems like fine in moderation. Just pure lard with a bit of sesame seeds. I don't know what he's saying. Obviously, like just eating cream cheese with seasoning on it, probably not the healthiest thing in the world. Probably. I'm not a you know, dietitian or whatever. But just the way he's saying it takes me on a journey and I don't know where I end up at the end. Because it seems like he always eats healthy. But we don't know what he eats is the thing. Piano is an instrument, not for consumption. Probably a lot of calories, a lot of energy, not for mouth. No eat. Whatever this guy's eating, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> yeah, bro, just break character once, please. No, seriously, I do not know what the character is. I feel like there's like three layers of satire on this. The sauce that you cover your chicken and rice with makes a fucking difference. Why does he say stuff so sensually? I, I, you know what I mean? The sauce that you cover your chicken and rice in. It makes a difference. It's like, are you trying to fuck me? Or like, are we eating chicken and rice? That sauce doesn't look too bad. Oh, so the sauce is fine. Like literally every every time, like I just don't know where he's going. I mean, this does look, you know, this does look good. And he didn't have too much to say about the rice, which is, you know, carbs. So, I mean, what do you believe, Andrew V? What do you believe? Now I'm kind of obsessed with him just answering questions from his audience in character. I told you I'm homeless. You perceive that as poor. <laughs> what is going on? I'm homeless, as in I travel wherever the fuck I want in the world. Your perception cooks your brain and make the wrong conclusion. No, you were just misleading with your speech. If you said, I'm not homeless, I'm homeless, then go fuck yourself, actually. I, Cause like, <laughs> don't make light of the fact that like, there are real unhoused people struggling in this country or any country for that matter. Apparently he's rich, the most unpleasant person on this app. Bro took a philosophy 101 class and thinks he's so Socrates. Caught in four Okay. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Sorry. I laughed because the top comment is, do you ever watch that ad? <laughs> you have 9K, 12K. How many motherfucking K do you have in your bank account? 
or is Netflix the only thing you worry about? So the thing about a character, a character you tend to, you should like know what they believe and you know, they're acting within the constraints of what the character would do. His character is just like a, a wild loony man. <laughs> he's like a cartoon and I don't know what he's doing. I just don't know what he's doing. He has to know what cotton 4K means. He's like literally just doing word association off of like a word in the question that somebody's asking him. Cult in full K. What does it mean to be caught? I live in a cot. I'm not homeless. I'm home less. Less is more. Open the door. It's what you're waiting for. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The failure in my eyes is like, if you're s satire, you can't just be lying and call it satire. What are you satirizing? Are you satirizing a health nut? Are you satirizing a like a millionaire health guru guy? I'm getting more and more confused as I watch these videos. Now I can't even watch him react to food. I've gotta learn more about this man. I said I'm homeless. Then you've all interpreted something. Homeless means home less of, do not have. <laughs> So first of all, he's already said this. <laughs> he already said this. Why is he repeating himself so much? You can't say something and then when other people call you out of it, say that you're misinterpreting me and that be the end of it. You could clarify your position, which I guess he's trying to do, but it's not. he's not doing a very good job on it. It's not everyone's fault if they all, him saying he's homeless made us assume that he's homeless. <laughs> the country. This guy... Even if it's all satire, he sucks. I, I don't care. I'm 95% sure this guy's satire. His YouTube is the exact same. Hey, I look around. All I see is people dying of... Okay. I, this, I really hope this is a joke. Please be a joke. Oh, he has his day of eating here on his YouTube. Let's find out what he eats. Who am I? I'm Andrew. Why does this look like he filmed it vertically and then realized he needed to make a horizontal video on YouTube, so he just zoomed the frame in on just his face? Born on this planet like you and I. However, I've had a very interesting life. More importantly, what do I stand for? Bro, what planet are we on right now? Like, what is going on? Are you seen from up above? Are you the Joker? Are you slow? Are you stupid? Do you have hair? Do you not have hair? All the questions. Kind of getting at all of the questions that I do have about him. Might be answered. Might be. But more importantly, here's what's happened. Okay, I can't watch this. I think, I think that he meant to link his eating and he didn't, he didn't link to his e his food eating video. A day of eating is wrong. Okay, so his whole YouTube channel is Truth Hurts and he has a book. Oh, The Psychology of Weight Loss. Number one best-selling book on Amazon. I'll be the judge of that. Aha. Number 24 in children's eating disorders. Number 28 in medicine and psychology. Oh dear. Amazon. Let experienced life coach Andrew Vashevnik reveal the truth behind the human mind and how it hinders us from achieve abundance. Hmm. Sometimes he does like speak like a caveman and I don't want to shame somebody if English is not their first language or something, but it seems like he's doing it on purpose, so I don't know what's going on. Like, I thought it was like a character thing he was doing. I'm not gonna read his book. What I eat in a day. That's what I want to know. I get asked this question a lot. I wonder why. Talk about it. I, let's, let's do that. Why it is the wrong question to ask. Oh. Why is it the wrong question? Why? We're looking and we're like, huh, I'm feeling pretty poor about my diet. And this guy or this girl, they look fit. They look healthy. I'm just going to do what they do. Okay. I think I see where he's going with this. And I do understand why that necessarily isn't a solution because everybody's like needs are different and what works for one person may not work for the other person. However, he does do a lot of bad mouthing food on TikTok. 
So I'm like, that's the reason I want to know what he eats because he does nothing but talk about other people's food. So like, that's why the, that's the question. Not because he is in great shape. I, I, am I curious? I'm curious because of how he talks about other food. I'm just going to do what they do. Show me what you eat and I'll do that. How is that going to bring you closer to understanding your own health, your own nutritional requirements and your own body? I am going to skip through this and look for the actual what he eats unless he never answers it. I don't think what he's trying to say is bad message. However, the only food that I have confirmed that he is a fan of is lettuce and cucumber. And I do think that maybe it's in his book. I'm not going to buy his book. That's like seems kind of shitty if you're like, buy my book to get some information about what I view to be healthy food. Obviously, this information is out there. I'm just curious about his specific perspective because of his character on TikTok. If I'm eating ice cream every day and then I show you a plate of chicken, how long do you reckon you'll be able to eat chicken before you're like, nah, that's it, I'm gonna eat ice cream now? Not long. That's not how habit change works. Then why aren't you talking about this shit on TikTok? This is not bad advice. <laughs> when somebody was putting lettuce around a burger, you were like, I mean, I guess if that's what you need to do. But then bitch, that's what you're describing here. You're like, habit forming is a long process. Holy shit, this gets me so mad. <laughs> what they eat, it's their ego. It's saying, hey, have a look at me. Have a look at me. I'm Mr. Big. Are you, that's literally what your TikTok is. It's have a look at me. Have a look at me. This don't eat chocolate. I don't, yeah, cause you make it seem like you don't eat those things. I don't think that he's wrong here. I just like don't understand his TikTok character. Just buy my products. Just buy my supplements. Just buy my book available on Amazon. Just be like me. Do not be like me. That much is obvious. <laughs> be like you. And every day get a little bit healthier, right? I have a book. What? <laughs> That was a speed run. They're always like, buy my products, buy my shit, buy my this, buy my that. Uh, anyway, if you'd like to buy this trash can, I do have it available for sale on my website. <laughs> it's called the psychology of weight loss. Let me explain. Psychology of getting yourself from where you're at now to a place where you're healthier in a healthier weight range. So he goes on to talk about like BMI and stuff, which, you know, is not end all be all of a, of a metric. Muscle mass is not accounted for in BMI. And so it could produce like really whack numbers. Uh, I'll try a little bit more nuts every day. Let me just that make that one change for the week. Just that one. That's it. And he's talking about like inc making incremental changes. No other changes. Not looking to somebody else. Not looking to me. Not looking to anybody else. Okay. I'm not going to find the answers I'm looking for today. <laughs> on that note, thank you for joining me on this journey. I don't think this guy is a bad guy. I think he's interesting. He's eccentric. He's got a weird TikTok. His TikTok is strange and it's not productive. My point is that the way that his TikToks are formulated, very shamey and they make people feel bad about what they eat. And then when you look at his long form content, or I imagine his book, he's talking about incremental introduction of things into your diet, long-term habit change and stuff. In my view, a healthy perspective at looking at things. And so I'm like, is this just his master plan of creating outrage so that people like go find out his actual perspective on things? Maybe, but you got to be honest with yourself that like most of the people are just consuming this TikTok content and hating him. And that's the end of their journey. So I don't know if he's like really changing hearts and minds in the way that he wants to, if that is what he's trying to do. He may just be being weird on TikTok because that's what he feels like doing. I don't know. I don't know this man. Of course, with anything I talk about on this channel, do not engage with him. Do not say bad things to him. I don't think he's playing a character. It, he might be playing so, like somewhat of a character on TikTok, but I would like him to not shame people for their diets and what they eat. I like chocolate. I don't need to be told that it's bad. That does not help with my long term diet change. That's all for today. Got a little fun goofing and then we learned something. And I think that that is what Andrew would have wanted. <laughs> He's still alive. Thanks again for joining me here on Jarvis Johnson Gold. Send me video things that I should talk about. Stay gold, everybody. Bye-bye.